Rose, first of all, we really enjoyed the film. It was so refreshing and groundbreaking to see female bodies in such a different light. And also we have a podcast about queer representation. And uh, normally it's just like sad lesbians at a coast or like, you know, sad lesbians coming out. It's just sad lesbians in general. Um, so it was uh, really nice to see hot muscly lesbians now as well. <laughs> In beautiful period gowns. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, and also Kristen in wonderful outfits as well. It was really good. Why do you think it is that we see so little women represented this way in film? I don't know. I mean, like, you know, I just I got to make a second film and this was like the first thing. I was like, well, I want to do a film about that and these people. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, there's something about maybe the sort of tasteful lesbian period drama is maybe just a sort of, in, you know, there's obviously been plenty of wonderful films made like that, but... Maybe it's the slightly more palatable sort of appeals to the broadest audience and... Well, it's kind of like the first step. It's yes. like, okay, we finally were allowed to make our way into movies. And everyone yeah. goes, But everyone has to good. feel really good about it, that we've learned something and that we're all, uh, you know, Take it teaching very lessons. It's all decent. We're all... Exactly. We end up with a man yeah. sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good. Oh, yeah. they climbed the hill. <laughs> They got over that hill. <laughs> so Kristen, I also really loved Lou. She felt like quite a radically different queer woman we get to see on screen. Did it felt that way to play her? Uh, yeah, it was fun. I, I think um, I had this kind of cool feeling of like a like sort of return to form thing. Like Lou is very much how, or at least aesthetically, like kind of how I wanted to look when I was like 11 years old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and like um, I've spent years and years and years of my life uh, having that be like really fervently denied. I mean, like I've, I've done some studio films, and I will tell you, I have been seriously considered and critiqued and shaped by male studio heads in terms of what they think I should look like, even in movies about gay people. Really? Yeah, and um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's uh, it's really nice to. <laughs> play a character that is very real and authentic and alive and beautiful and not necessarily designed to be desired by the stronger race. <laughs> <laughs> so did it felt like a conversation you were also part of with the crew together, like discussing those kind of niche of those little things just in the clothing, the way the women move and act? Our costume designer was incredible. Yeah, Olga um, Mill, she's brilliant. Yeah. Coming up, I don't know, Lou's wardrobe was really fun to do. I feel like you, you and her just kind of vanished and then came up with all these different looks from going through them. And I don't know, it's a really fun wardrobe to build. Mm. It's like kind of, you know, teenage boy. Yeah, and it's not like, she, you know, when you look at it, you're like, okay, cool, so it's like you wore a bunch of T-shirts. You're like, no, but she, but she really has three that are perfect, and it took her, like, years to yeah. find them. She's and not going to give them yeah. up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like I don't think anyone else in that little town has ever heard of psychic TV like she has really cultivated yeah, her, exactly. her identity yeah. and it wasn't easy to do and it takes years and so it's like anyone as less sort of aware of that nuance costume designer wise would have been like sure we'll put a you know, put you in we'll some butch in, clothes. Put her in a tank top and <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, but we were but, really careful. Well, because like the I love like Lou's gym t-shirt like the gym that she works in and so sort of cut off the um, arms, but that was more because also then you guys sort of created the fact that like she, then she's got like a t-shirt tan. And some also. bicep as well, which is really nice. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. What I also really enjoyed were the intimate scenes, because also again, usually in film it's like two women and a shot of the ocean, you know, and like wow, it's so tender. Uh, so it was like really refreshing to see this kind of sex scenes. Um, was it important to you both to incorporate these kind of scenes as well? And what was that discussion about? Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a love story and it's about two people when they're sort of like just meeting for the first time. And like sex is always going to be an important part of that of that story. But yeah, instead of cutting to the waves afterwards, we cut <laughs> to them cracking an egg. Um, <laughs> Jackie's muscles go... Oh. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're a fun, interesting part of the dynamic to kind of write and I don't know. It's also so funny that people are like, ooh, the sex scenes. I'm like, they're yeah. the least explicit sex scenes I've ever been a part of. There's no, like, There's very no nudity little nudity. There's no nudity in the main, yeah. in, like, people <laughs> like, like, talk about. It's yeah. like, we get more than a stare and a caress, so. Like, yeah, no, <laughs> there's, a, there's a physicality and verbiage, too. We talk yeah. about each yeah, other's yeah. bodies. Yeah. That's like, that, mm, it, uh, it can make certain individuals squeamish.
Yeah, which I think is a good thing. Yeah, yeah me too. Yeah, yeah. 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 examine that feeling. Yeah. Why do you think you're feeling that way? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And we were discussing that on a fleur, uh, led like uh, representation of, for example, saying good girl during the sex end. I know we felt <laughs> seen, so we thought since we have this six minute speed date, which feels like there's so much pressure in this room, you know, to have a, a good conversation. We've got some short, monumental, Sephic canon events listed for you. Just like Love Lies Bleeding now officially is, of course. So if you like it, you say good girl. If you don't, if not, you say bad girl, right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, <just> <laughs> so let's just start with the L word. Oh. I haven't seen it. Oh, <laughs> good girl. Killing Eve? Good girl. Good girl. And the groany Spagliata with Prosecco in it? Good girl. I don't know. I see <laughs> better girl without the Prosecco, just gin. Just, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Thelma and Louise? Good girl. Good girl. Renee Rapp coming out on SNL? Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Inspired from somewhere, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Benedetta, the movie? Oh, good girl. Oh, good girl. Really? I love that movie. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys don't like it? No. <laughs> it was tragic. Like it was. It was. Yeah, but it was fucking hilarious. It was fun. It was. Fun. Rooms, it was really. Yeah, but it's funny. It is funny. Yeah. It's, it's kind of. Camp. It's a laugh. Yeah. yeah. I, I interpreted that one as just like very camp. Yeah. And I was like. Mm. Um, okay, so the next one is Arby Plaza and Drew Barrymore saying "mommy" to each other in an interview. <laughs> Have you seen it? I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that. It's, a dream mom. Any... I wish you were my mom. Be my mommy. I will. I, I'll say the same thing to you. I say <laughs> to the girls, me. get back in my belly. <laughs> Feed me. <laughs> Put me to bed. I will. I Ugh. will. Put I know. By the way, I'm good at it too. Put me to bed. Uh, I would recommend. I would say good girl though. Aubrey's mind blowing. <laughs> Yeah, she's hilarious. She's great, yeah. yeah. Okay, and then lesbians texting each other, I wanted to kiss you after a date of approximately nine hours where nobody did anything. Um, just a canon event for a lot of queer girls. Wait, say that one more time. So like, uh, when you go on a date with a girl and you have a wonderful time but nobody does anything, uh -huh. and then they text you, oh, I wanted to kiss you afterwards. Uh -huh. Yeah, but they didn't do anything. Uh -huh. Bad girl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, questions. Thank you. All we needed to know. Thank you so much. We really yeah. love you. Oh, thank, thank you so much you. for coming. <laughs>